I remember I interviewed a uh, young boy, uh, he was 19 years old by the time I met him, named Elliot. And when he was 16 years old, he was victimized a lot by a boy in school who was six foot two, already shaving, muscular, and uh, weighed really double what he weighed. And he was pushed around a lot and punched a lot. And he brought the situation to his mother, who said, you should take care of it yourself. And the father who said, you know, you should stand up to him. So here you have uh, Elliot's father telling him to do something that Elliot's father knew nothing about. Elliot's father had never had a fight in his life, had never taken on somebody who was literally twice his weight. And Elliot eventually took his father's gun, took it to school, left a note for his parents that was a will about where he wanted his things to go after he died, which is what he expected. And by a series of lucky breaks, he ended up not doing a school shooting that day. And he brought the gun back. And his parents never even knew about it. He told it to me three years after it happened. So I would say to parents in those situations that you never leave it to your kid to protect him or herself when they are clearly being abused by somebody who has a profound advantage physically or by being part of a group. We need to stand up for our kids and both teachers and parents need to participate in that.